Sandy, we talked before the game about the bullpen being a little, a little beat up. How nice is it to have a guy, a young guy like Savali, come out and give you nine? That was great, man. Uh, that was what the doctor ordered right there. Uh, a deep game. Uh, he's. Uh, we just give him the opportunity to finish the game because it worked so hard. So, uh, and on top of that, our bullpen needed a rest. So, uh, great performance. Great performance. Uh, no walks. Struck out six guys and uh, threw out a strike. So, that, that's the main thing. I think you understand the relationship between starting pitcher and catcher better than most. Um, how big is it for a young pitcher like that to get somebody like Roberto back? Huge, because Roberto really understands uh, the things he needs to do to set guys up. And uh, he, uh, Roberto asked him to, you know, use his fastball a little more instead of using uh, too much, too many cutters. Uh, he uses fastball more than, than the last time and uh, 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 mix it up with a slow breaking ball and uh, was able to, you know, to stay ahead in the counts all the time. How nice is it to have Carlos Santana in this groove that he's in at the plate right now? Say so he's like, he's a... Uh, you know, say he's completely streaky, but when it, once he get one, he tra it, his trend is to get a few of them. And today, as I was talking about before in the pregame, that uh, he's feeling comfortable uh, being more aggressive now, now that uh, he recognizes his pitches better. Sandy, early, early in the game, Domingo had that hard line out, you know, right to the mound on what could have been a hit to bring in a couple. Just how good was it, do you think, for him to then come up, clear the bases with that double? It was, it was nice that he got rewarded later on with uh, not as hard hit ball, but sometimes, you know, this is a game in inches. He hit the ball right down the line. Uh, they were playing separated from the line, so... Even the outfield was a little more to the gap, so uh, it was huge to, to see Domingo start coming up big in some big situations. Uh, you know, he has a little bit of a track record, and uh, the opportunity is there for him to get some RBIs and get some at bats. You ready to give Dan Collins some love on the replays? Barney better watch out for his job, huh? Yeah, we got we got one right. <laughs> Actually, Dan is doing a good job. He's doing a good job. He was a uh, a little nervous at first because something something new for him, but uh, he, you know he has a good eye. You know, at times we just take chances because it's late in the game and uh, we, you don't have uh, a choice. Just check it out. You already have uh, two challenges, but uh, he uh, he's doing a good job. Sandy, it sounds like there's a lot of noise coming from the dugout. Is that do you, do oh, you appreciate uh, it? We have the uh, captain cheerleaders uh, in the dugout. Uh, <laughs> Led by Carlos Carrasco and uh, uh, Reyes, they uh, they cheer for their guys. They've been doing that for the last three or four games uh, to keep the guys motivated. Do you like that? What is that? Is that part of the already rule too? Like <laughs> <laughs> you guys? <laughs> no, I like I like it. You know, you just kind of you know it's get monotonous sometimes when you like sit there listening to the speakers and the. Uh, the same sequence of noises from the speakers, so the guys are are starting to um, uh, motivate each other.